something that I, I appreciated you talking about was uh, in the book, the idea of uh, power and domination. And one of the things when I look at the authors of, for instance, Daniel, which is being written under um, pretty heavy persecution, and this is another piece of apocalyptic literature, that even in, a, in its own day, around the time when Revelation is, is being written, we have people rereading Daniel to try to make it relevant to their own day. And when we have Revelation going, you've got, it's not the Seleucids who are oppressing them, it's, it's the Romans at this point. The, these texts are being written under periods of heavy oppression and persecution, at least in their minds, if not in reality. Do you think that there's something we're missing when we try to say this is about us when we are in the positions of power and domination? Uh, Christianity, particularly in the United States in the 19th and 20th century, looking at these people who are under the boot of empire, saying, oh, well, this is about us. This is for us to interpret. Is there, is there something that, uh, that some folks are missing in not taking note of that power differential? Yeah, it's one of the points I try to make at the end of my book, is that um, Revelation really is about um, turning the tide and, and, and making the people who are the enemy in the ones who are subjecting you, uh, making them subject to you. And so it's a, it's a book about dominating the enemy and overthrowing the enemy, destroying the enemy, taking all the wealth from the enemy, taking all the power from the enemy. Um, and uh, that is a natural response for people who are being uh, being persecuted. Uh, I'll say that um, scholars are pretty well convinced these days that Revelation uh, was probably written in the '90s, uh, under when Emperor uh, the um, when the Emperor Domitian was the was the ruler. And there's actually no evidence that he was sponsoring any kinds of persecutions. Mm -hmm. Revelation imagines that there are you know millions and millions of Christians being persecuted. For one thing, there aren't millions and millions of Christians, but there's not much <laughs> evidence of there being widespread persecution at all. 